Hey, what's up beautiful black people? How you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World and the Black Business School and I'm um, sitting here and I, I just finished doing um, a CNN appearance and we talked about Donald Trump and this whole situation with him going to Detroit to visit a black church and and um, you know and, and it's funny I, I don't really I used to love going on CNN back in the day and I'm always honored you know when Anderson Cooper has me on the show um, I'll never turn down an invitation from him because I actually respect Anderson Cooper a lot um, but you know going on national TV just doesn't do anything for me anymore because I'm I'm a big believer in the importance of developing black owned media um, and we spend a lot of time developing our own media where we can reach our own people on our terms when we want when you're working through major media outlets what happens is you only get to go on when they call you. Uh, you only get to talk for maybe four or five minutes. I only said a couple of things and that was it. And also you gotta talk about what they want you to talk about. And I, I just, you know, the topic was Donald Trump and his visit to Detroit to talk to black people and people are up in arms about it. And I, I just honestly want to say, I just don't really give a shit. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, I care about black people and whatever black people care about, I'm gonna care about too. But the truth of the matter is that to me, Negroes fighting each other over Hillary versus Trump is like a plantation fight. Because I don't really think either one of these parties has any respect for us, uh, where they just sort of pick their chosen Negroes to go out and do battle with each other. And then you have people really taking, internalizing this, internalizing the plantations, internalizing the Republicans, internalizing the, the Democrats, when really you're not a functional part of any of this. You're not a critical element of this other than the fact that they need your votes in order to remain in office. Um, and, but you don't have any real equity, any real power in this. A few elite Negroes get taken care of. You know, you got a couple of black people who, who make money from this that's, that's why they go out here and they they'll stump for trump that's why they'll go out here and be fight for hillary as if hillary was their you know their baby mom or whatever you know and, and it's it is what it is i mean i'm not you know hating on it. It, it you know go make your money go do your thing but i think that smart people can see right through that and i think it's up to smart people to make sure that you don't let this stuff distract you because this stuff is not going to change the state of our community this stuff is not going to severely damage nor severely improve the state of the black community. If anything, it will keep damaging it. My argument is, my belief is that black people have to find ways to build our own solutions, develop our own, you know, our own outcomes that will allow us to prosper in this nation. Um, it's okay if you want to vote. If you don't want to vote, I'm not going to get on you about voting or not voting. Um, I just don't want you to overinvest in a system that's not moving. It's like you're riding on a bike that ain't got no tires and you paddling your ass off but you're sitting still and i'm sitting there telling you let's let's go build this raggedy ass car over here let's build up spend this time building our car up and this car will drive us down the road but what some of us are sitting on the damn bike the, the stationary bike that ain't even moving but feel like because we're paddling that we must be making progress no you ain't making progress and really you kind of might be going backward so if you want to know my opinion about any of that uh again love anderson cooper i he'll anytime anderson invites me on man i'm always going to go on his show because that guy has always he's been respectful since i started going on his show way back in 2007 2008 whatever year it was that i started going on there um i don't like don lemon much don lemon's you know kind of a, a little dorky piece of shit half the time he's not a jerk he's not a complete ass he's just a guy that um hey, see you later uh, he, he's just a guy that I think just again, you know, just, just kind of plays himself You know, he likes that attention and he says stupid things in order to get that attention I'm not a fan of Don Lemon, but uh, but Anderson Cooper He's cool, you know, and, and I like the show and it's an intelligent show They try to get to the truth. They try to give the American people what they need as opposed to what they want uh, Which unfortunately doesn't work so well for ratings because everybody wants, you know, tacky shallow stuff and I don't think tacking and shallow is what black people need. I don't think we need more coonery. We don't need more singing, dancing. We don't need more just chilling all the time. We need to have some business. We need to do some serious business. You know, that's the only way you're going to build. only way you're going to take, only way other people are going to take you seriously is if you take something seriously and you take yourself seriously. If you think everything's always a joke, then you will be seen as a joke. You will always be seen as the group of people that make other people laugh and sing and dance and, and do the nay-nay and do the bop and do the, the yahoo, whatever the hell the dances are called. And you'll never be seen as somebody that can truly control your own destiny. So that's what the All Black National Convention is all about. That's what I was thinking about. When I was sitting in there, I was thinking about the convention. I guess I should have mentioned it on CNN in case people were watching. I didn't even think to do it. I, you know, I had a brother on there that was, you know, I guess he's stumping for the Republicans. Somebody's paying him well to be, I mean, you, the best way to get ahead in America really is to be a black Republican. If, you, if I put it this way, if I went out here and I started speaking vocally on behalf of Trump, 
I would probably have an extra million dollars in my bank account by the end of next year, easily, right? Um, so the best way to find opportunities as a black person is to go over and jump over and be a vocal Republican. Uh, the, be the Republicans I respect are the ones who just sort of quietly show up to the polls, vote for the candidate that they want to vote for, and they just explain to you why they support that candidate, and that's it. But you got some Negroes that are in it for the money, and it's tacky. They're in it for the money, for the fame, for the status, you know, because, again, your self-esteem has been ripped away from you so badly that you need a white man to give you your dignity. He gives you whatever you need to feel validated in order for you to feel successful so you can call your mama and say, Mama, I made it. But what you aren't telling your mama is that the reason you made it is because you turned yourself into a goddamn scumbag. That's, that's the problem. So, you know, when I, when I call my mama and say, Mama, I made it, I want to say I made it because I'm a, I'm a man, because I'm a good man, because I'm doing something good for the world. I don't want to say, Mama, I made it because, because I'm on love and hip-hop now. You didn't make it. You just allowed the world to shape you into something that you were never meant to be. Um, so uh, that's it. I'm about to get out of here, guys. If you want to buy tickets for the All Black National Convention in Atlanta, lots of people buying tickets now. Tickets are selling out pretty fast. So uh, you may want to move quick. Uh, you can go to allblacknationalconvention.com. It's September 14th, 15th, and 16th. Yeah, and uh, in it, 15th, 16th, and 17th, I'm sorry. Um, in Atlanta, you can go to allblacknationalconvention.com. Also, uh, you may want to just sign up for our mailing list so you can get a notification when, when the live stream becomes available. And you can sign up um, on the list at drboycewatkins.net. That's where you can also get a free e-copy of my book, It Takes a Village to Raise the Bar. If you want to know my vision for black America, read that book. That book will tell you four things that I believe can be um, done very easily in our own homes that will reshape the trajectory of our whole community. Um, I brought it out, I created that in 2013 when I did a forum, a two and a half hour event with Minister Louis Farrakhan and we talked about those four concepts for two and a half hours. There's actually video out there that if you ever want to see it, so you can probably look it, look it up. Um, but you know, that that's what I'm focused on. I'm not focused on no Democrats, I ain't focused on no Republicans. Um, you know, even the third party candidates, they're, they're better than most, but they're just, you know, they're still not, you know, it's, it's sort of like being black. You just sort of feel like you're like the little the little midget in the room where everybody is doing, everybody's having grown up conversations above your head and you're looking up and you're trying to get somebody to put you on their, on their shoulders so you can be part of the grown up conversation. And I say that we just need to go over and have our own conversation and we just need to stand on each other's shoulders so we can walk into the room with some height, you know, and control some policy, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, um, I just want to see black people figure it out and come together and, and form a strong core uh, that's built on education, that's built, I'm talking about real education, not that fake stuff you get from school, uh, education, uh, wealth building, um, you know, the understanding of economic systems and enterprises, the understanding of black history. If you know who you are and you're very well educated and you know how to control your wealth, then you will always be very powerful. But when you let other people tell you who you are, when you allow people to convince you to walk away from education and you walk away from economic empowerment toward consumerism, throwing your money away, giving away to white people, then you're always going to be powerless. You're going to be as empty as... You know, as, as empty, you're gonna be floating around like a little leaf, and you're gonna be as empty as, as, uh, as, as, as a cart of milk, where all the milk got poured out of it, right? So, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, that's what I'm thinking. That's what's on my mind. And I guess it's funny. Like I went on CNN. I guess I had a, I had a, a desire to share with you guys what I'm really thinking, because this is this is my home. This is my media outlet right here, talking to you on TV. I don't even I don't even halfway answer the phone when they when media outlets. I don't do any interviews. I, I like I said I do CNN only because I don't want to be arrogant and turn down everything. But I really didn't want to do. It. I wanted to stay in the bed. So uh, anyway, guys, take care and uh, I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Uh, be good. Peace.